We're Trent and Allie, and we have some problems today. Oh! Oh, oh look out. But it's a beautiful day to build a house and finish up the plumbing. Dean was not thinking correctly, and he put a female fitting on here, or he didn't put a nipple on there for me, and then he took his box of nipples. <laughs> Subscribe and come along today as we face our challenges head on. Our furnace is frozen. And focus on the bright side. It's Dean's nipple! <laughs> <laughs>
you doing? You okay? Oh yeah. Look. Luckily the snow is soft to fall in. Yeah, <laughs> good. Furnace. The water heater? The water heater? Yeah, that too. <laughs> oh no. Oh, it's gonna go. Oh! <laughs> Almost got me. Oh. I can't even see where you are. I'm here. right here. Okay. Hello. Hello. <laughs> well, as you can see, the wood pile, it was inevitable, but the wood pile eventually collapsed right here. Now we've got to take some wood upstairs to build fires with anyways, so we're just going to take some of this wood that's in our way, take it upstairs. Woo! Wow, guys, good job! Really should have gone for that 40 gallon, huh? <laughs> this is a 50 gallon, it's a little bit bigger, a little bit heavier. But the guy at the store talked me into it, okay? It was only $30 more, and you get more hot water or something. And 30 know. times the headache to install. And way heavier. Hey, Janae, how can I help you? Hey, Janae, I was supposed to call you guys this morning to maybe get a driver's phone number. I guess you guys had a shipment for me. We're getting windows today. Replacement windows. Awesome. I will give him a call and set up a place to go meet him. All right, sounds good. All right, thank you. All right, so we just got the phone number from the delivery driver from Alpen. So when Alpen's windows got sent out, there was a couple of mistakes. Uh, if you guys remember, one of the windows was cracked, so I have to change that sash. Yes, I'm going to become a professional window installer <laughs> here in the next like couple weeks. And then also a couple of our other windows that were supposed to be tempered ended up actually not getting tempered glass put in them. So Alpen corrected everything. They sent us out new window sashes and now they're here on a truck. Unfortunately, there's four feet of snow and we have to go pick up those windows and creep on back to our property without breaking any of them. Good morning. Supposedly this is 390 pounds. Slide it over towards me a little bit. Got our delivery. Oh, let's get some uh, ratchet straps on this thing and carefully head back to the house. On the hook. On the hook. All right, now we putt putt back to the house. Hope it works. Hope it works. So, although we did get it here without pretty much any issues, I am going to take a couple precautions so that we don't have a repeat of what happened when they were bringing up the water heater. And I'm gonna take a few minutes and build them some stairs. So last night, we had some errands to run and we thought, let's take Frank with us. He hasn't really gotten out today. It'll be fun for him. So he's sitting in the car while we're doing some errands. We get back to the car and there's a paper towel on the front seat. And I thought, what is this from? And I realized, oh, there were some pumpkin chocolate chip cookies rolled up in a paper towel, tucked onto the dashboard for the past, like probably two or three days, because that's just how Trent rolls, that we had forgotten about. They were all gone when we got back to the truck. You know, there's few things that Frank could do to really upset me. <laughs> but eating my cookies is at the top of that list. I was very upset. And it was a pumpkin chocolate chip cookie too, which is my actual favorite. I know everybody thinks butter cookies are my favorite. I really enjoy a butter cookie, but pumpkin chocolate chip is number one. You don't come between me and my pumpkin chocolate chip cookies. In case anyone was wondering, Frank the Tank is very apropos because, uh, Nothing happened. No stomach upsetness. He just ate some cookies with chocolate in them and he's totally fine. <laughs> I 
I can tell just by looking at this that I'm definitely in over my head. <laughs> Swapping this is going to be extremely challenging. <sighs> Off of a ladder to boot. But first we got to uh, carry it inside. The right side is super soft, especially the higher you get. So try to stay left. How's that for balance? It's pretty intense. Okay, so far so good. All it takes is a, a couple quick stairs to get your body temp nice and hot, feeling good, ready to install these. Are we doing this today? No way. No way? No way. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> the whole reason we needed these windows is because they need to be tempered. We ordered tempered windows because by code you need them in a couple different places, in a bathroom, over a landing. Um, so Alpen, Corrected that mistake. They sent out the tempered windows, but we just want to verify that these are tempered. No tempered there. We're not sure yet. There should be a little T. Oh. Woo! It's the last place you look, huh? It's tempered. <laughs> cool. I was about to freak out. I know. <laughs> Now, uh, Brandon and I are gonna tear into these boxes of plumbing goods, get a bunch of fittings, some Teflon tape, head downstairs, and kind of start laying out the way things are gonna go. Maybe we'll get a couple of fittings put on today. You hear that right there? That's the sound of our furnace working, being completely thawed out and unfrozen. Luckily for Dean, he did know what he was talking about and uh, it's looking totally fine. It was just really cold in here last night and everything froze up. But now that that's working, the furnace is on, the house is warming up. It's actually really warm upstairs. Not too warm down here. It's, it's getting warm down here. It will be one day. Oh. That's PRV. Pressure regulating valve. Yes! Yes! Got it! <laughs> it reduces and it regulates all in one. It, it regulates, reduces. but it's always reducing. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I have a doctor's appointment, so I'm gonna head out in a couple minutes, but are you telling me that when I get back, the water heater will be installed? No. <laughs> days away. Oh, never mind. <laughs> See you guys in four videos when we install the water heater. So we got our shutoff valve going down to the garage, which is this one right here. And then we've got our main shutoff valve, our PRV, and now we're just waiting on the sediment filter and the whole house filter. So what we're gonna do right now to kind of finish out the day is we've been really concerned about how much propane we've been using and whether or not we were gonna use so much that the furnace was gonna cause us to run out of propane before springtime. And I talked to a propane guy that I saw down the street today and he was like, well, go check your gauge. And I was like, wait, we have a gauge? I was just under the impression that we didn't have a gauge. So I'm gonna go and lift the top up and see what percentage it says that we're at. And hopefully that's accurate. The only problem is it's under about two feet of snow. So we've got a nice adventure ahead of us. Ooh, ooh. Cavity under there. Sixty two per cent. So we've used eighteen per cent out of eighty, which is like less than twenty per cent. It's not even a quarter of what's in here. Well, that's good news. I guess we can run the propane furnace for a little while and see how much propane we go through. We can always shut it down. And if we had to use 18% more propane to get us from now until May, it's, it's like the end of February almost. I think we got this filled in like October or November. So it's been like four or five months. We're doing pretty good. I just got back from the doctor. My mouth is healed super well. No more retainer. Very excited to be done with that. I know you guys really want to come along. We're done for the day as far as working goes. We checked the level on the propane tank. We did what we could with the plumbing in the basement. 
And now I'm actually gonna run to Ferguson's one last time and just grab a couple fittings that I'm not sure if I'm gonna need, but I'm gonna grab them just in case. And while we're down there, we're picking up the rest of our supplies from the shipping place. And, and hopefully that's gonna have the sediment filter and the whole house filter so that tomorrow we'll be able to do the rest of the plumbing system. And you said we're getting Indian food. Well, we might be getting some Indian food too. Hey, okay, cool. I don't know if Allie can eat Indian food because of her mouth, but we're gonna find out. <laughs> See you guys in the morning. morning guys I was just uh, looking over there we have a little spot where I snow blow where Frank goes to the bathroom every morning and it's like every day it snows like an inch I feel like so all of his excrements get covered up and then he like goes out and goes to the bathroom again in pretty much the same spot and I just started thinking this morning in the spring <laughs> That's gonna be really gross over <laughs> yeah. there when like all of this like dog poop melts and it's just like a, a no zone. You don't go over there in the springtime. Oh, what do you say, you wanna make the fire today? make the fire. If you want help, you, you let me know, but I'm, I want you to do it. I won't hesitate to let you know if I need help. So many people have been sending us different firewood configurations for how to build a fire that lasts. I don't think our wood stove is big enough to do like the big V. There's like the big V of big logs and kindling on top in the mm -hmm. middle. Should I try something new? Sure. Okay, cool. See how this works. All right, give her a go. Ooh, that's fun. <laughs> Take two. I think you did it, my love. Eventually, we got there. The thing about building fires, especially when you don't do it all the time, is like sometimes it kind of takes a couple tries or it just takes a while to get the hang of it, but. Well, I was trying a new configuration. We were, she was trying a new configuration, but also I think after we've been living here for at least one winter, we will both be <laughs> professional fire starters. Yeah. I mean, I already, you know, I already got some experience because of my Boy Scout years. <laughs> We know that was like a couple decades ago, but still I retained a lot of the information I learned. I have a lot of experience selling cookies, if anyone <laughs> needs that. <laughs> One of those days where I feel like a lot could happen if we really focus on getting stuff done. I think we have all the parts for the water supply that we need to install maybe even the water heater, as well as a couple other water type things. How ambitious are you today? I'm pretty ambitious. Uh, I had Brandon stop at the plumbing store on his way in. Yes, we went last night. Yes, I forgot at least two things. So I had Brandon grab a couple extra things and once he gets here, we're gonna go downstairs. We're gonna start plumbing this baby up. If there's one thing we do have in this house, it's amazing water pressure, which I'm really excited about. Another thing we also have in this house is a mess. So until Brandon gets here and we can actually start getting to work, I think I'm going to try to help these guys out by cleaning up. Who doesn't love a freshly cleaned, nice and open space? It just makes working and thinking so much easier and it uh, makes my brain feel good. These guys are already getting to work downstairs doing something that sounds like plumbing. This is PEX that we're using here. PEX generally has crimp rings which go in between these things here and then on every fitting you have to get uh, like right on the crimp ring and push this down uh, and it doesn't take that much pressure right now but when there's a crimp ring in there it takes a lot of pressure and it gets very tiring and very annoying and it's hard to do in small spaces this is what's called an upanor um, or propex and it basically has this little gun right here 
Whoa. That has those little teeth that spread the pipe so that it gets really stretched out and fat. And then you stick it over the top of the fitting and it shrinks back down. And for those of you that aren't familiar with Upinor or Propex, you're gonna say, Trent, that's gonna leak. And this is like the most leak proof fitting that they make. It's a really cool new way of doing plumbing and I'm excited to be using it. I've heard that it doesn't leak at all when installed correctly. Hey. So fingers crossed, hey. Trent knows what he's doing. Basically, I'm not a plumber and as you guys saw when we did the drain lines, we had to redo things a bunch. We're not redoing anything this time because nice. actually I better not curse myself. Yeah. Oh, come on. <laughs> We're gonna have fun today. We're gonna do some plumbing. Come along. Everything is pretty much cleaned up around the house. The guys are busy building their maze downstairs and there's not much I can really help them with right now. So we're supposed to get another six to 10 inches of snow tonight. So I think before that happens, I'm gonna see if maybe Frank wants to come with me on a little walk. Do you wanna go for a walk, Frank? So for those of you wondering, this is how Frank gets off the deck. He just goes off this side. We have a little plank for him that we thought would be super useful and he never has used, not even once. <laughs> No matter how what? hard I get the blues, you keep me steady. Yeah, blues. When we end the exciting games, and we don't pull them both ways, we can do it. We can do it. I know we'll find the missing frame. Sideways up or down, it's all. I have to like actually disconnect this and connect it to a hose and fill it with water okay. and then let the water sit for 48 hours before we can actually like use it. Oh good. So this is like a... Because I was going to say, <clears throat> you did the one thing that I said, <laughs> wait to install anything on the ground until I've vacuumed because there's sawdust everywhere. So yeah, never that was that. the right answer. I would never disobey my wife. <laughs> I am going to vacuum up this sawdust really fast because I know even though they're telling me that this thing is not permanently set in place. It will be really heavy and really difficult to move once we fill it up with water. It looks incredible over here. Are you available? I think maybe we could use you a little bit more often. Are you ready? All right, let's do it. This is a three stage process. Stage one. Stage two. Oh, look out. <laughs> Did you figure it out? Yeah, I figured it out. So this is a bypass valve in itself. So if you turn both of these fittings off, water can still run through without going through the filter. I was unaware of that. And nice. so I had both of them closed and it was like bypassing the water. And it was very confusing to me because I had these in the off positions <laughs> and water was just coming out without actually going into the tank. Mm. Man, it's a good thing I told you to move. I know. You literally had the camera right here. I know. Like just direct, everything ruined. Yeah, it would have been the beach in El Salvador all over again.
And that was salt water, so that just immediately ruined everything. I'm really excited and really nervous and a little bit overwhelmed because I've never put in a water heater before, but I know it's really easy. <laughs> And I'm pretty sure a monkey could do it, so <laughs> you say that now. I got a pretty good chance, huh? What do you think? If you're the monkey in this scenario, then let's give it a go. We'll see. <laughs> so this whole house filter needs to just be filled with water for 48 hours. So everything we can do with that has been done, and now we have a little bit more time in the day. So I think we're just gonna go ahead and set up the hot water heater, which is super exciting because that's the last main piece of equipment that needs to be set up before we can connect and turn on all of the water lines. It's like a really big RTD2. It's our new droid. Dean was not thinking correctly, and he put a female fitting on here, or he didn't put a nipple on there for me, and then he took his box of nipples. <laughs> I hate when he does that. Thanks, Dean. <laughs> Just kidding. I didn't, I didn't pay for the nipples, so it's right <laughs> that he took them. We have some really good news. Uh, I was just looking around on the floor, and I saw this little metal thing in the corner. I was like, what is that? It's Dean's nipple! <laughs> Dean left a nipple behind. And for those of you guys that think we're just making sick jokes, um, a piece of pipe that has threads on both ends is called a nipple. It's the scientific term. <laughs> and uh, Thank you, Dean. This one was just sitting on the ground. It had some pipe dope on it. I'm just scraping the old pipe dope off. But now I'll be able to use this with fresh pipe dope and Teflon. Pipe dope is also the scientific name. Pipe dope is also exactly <laughs> what this white goo is called. That's funny. And uh, we'll be able to install that gas line on the water heater now. Thanks, Dean. Oh. Well, even though we had Dean's nipple and I didn't have to come to the store to get nipples, I did have to come get a few bits and bobs, which should just be expected. I feel like even professionals have to go to the store a thousand times to get a job done. Maybe they don't. Also, I picked up some white spray paint and in the next week or so, we're gonna be laying out where all of our electrical is going. And I think the easiest way is instead of like going and mounting all the boxes is going and marking with paint and making sure all the spots in the house have outlets and switches and everything where they need them. And then I can buy all the boxes and then go and mount them. So. It's exciting. This is step one of electrical. Ah. <laughs> it's been a really fun couple of days. Starting the plumbing supply has actually been really exciting for me, and I think we're doing a good job. Even Brandon said that he thought it looked really good. If Brandon thinks it looks good, then I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, I think that's probably going to do it for us today. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along on today's adventure. If you did, make sure you show us by giving us a big thumbs up on today's video. Consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. Thanks again to Vessi for sponsoring today's video. Click the link in our description to check them out. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Adios!